Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, and you're doing some jobs today with the Void Grip setup, an all-time classic for sure, even though I haven't actually played it or we've really talked about it at all in the last year. The build is the same, no reason to get this has been the same for ages. I did like move it a tiny bit, but it's always been very, very close to this. Before that, I just want to point out we are on live, not on the PTS, because I already did the big overview PTS video. Thank you for all the support on that. If you haven't seen it, check it out, of course. But I got one thing wrong in that video, and that is Grok. He's way better than I thought he was when I was recording that and putting it together because I just missed it. But in the next update, assuming it goes through the same from where it is right now on the PTS, his totem is ticking way faster than it was before from 0 0.15 to 0 0.1. I think I even said it, but I just didn't like compute it in my head whatsoever. So what I pointed out about his talents was kind of right. Still, Spirit Domain is definitely going to be the best out of the three buff-wise, like how much they moved it up compared to the other two but it makes sense that they didn't buff Totemic Ward because they buffed his totem just in general. I also feel like I should point out that I might sound different in this video, but this is closer to how I normally sound because I've just like taken my in-ears out with my mic feedback into like my ears. So I'm speaking normally and just hearing everything through my speakers. I'm not hearing myself though. I'm just like talking to you as if I would normally talk to somebody. Like I said, I haven't played this in a minute, but we've got Pluck, Makoa, Blood Reaper, Koga, Defiant Fist, Andrew, Spitting Ice, Amani, then Batting Ram, Ash, Shrapnel, Victor, Decimation, Binary Star, Darkstalker, in we go. I don't know if I even like actually registered everything that I just said, but Team's going right for some reason. I don't know really where I should go from here. I'm going to try and stick with at least two people. There's a grip on the ash. Sure. Cooldown on it is solo. That it really doesn't matter. That's the turn running in. Um, okay. Ash is going to knock me. I'm dead. Going to be real. I really didn't expect to get knocked off there. There's a kill on the generals. Hello, Andra. I'm scared. Uh, there's a grip on the ash to pull her over the shield. Sure. Placement there is terrible, but she's not even going for an oxidative is what I was trying to say. She's going for like a self-heal thing, which I don't know if I've seen before on Ash. Might not seem like a big deal to change like how I record stuff, but because I've been doing it like that for literally years, a small change, even though it's different for just how I speak, which ends up making it kind of substantial, uh, feels really, really different. There goes the Genos. I'm just yapping at this point. There goes the turn. Uh, trying to grip the Ash. There we go. Is she dead to the damage on that? No, but we'll finish her off anyway. Got to heal on these two. Try my best to not die. But yeah, this is a pretty good scenario for it. Grip on the turn. The range on that is also really, really good. We're going to go for an ult just there. That was horrendous. I thought they were for some reason really stacked up. Apparently not. Heal on the Koga. He's not dead somehow. I feel like I'm spamming my kit way more than normal because I can't hear the audio as well as I usually would. But it doesn't really matter for a casual match like this. I can sort of tell what's going on and play Again, more naturally, kind of. Don't feel as rusty as I usually would for like my first time playing a match. I think that is just, again, because of the changes in the setup. That's an uh, Ash, like, playing super aggressively on the Makar. I'm trying to not get knocked. Again, we'll grip her here to stop her from chasing. She's going for the ult. Rip to the Makar. I've got a heal on him. I can't do anything else. We'll throw one here on the Andro and try and keep this going. There is an Andro here somewhere. There's a grip on him. Sure, he's dead. Does he have CC reduction? He does. He has a max CC reduction. Ash has it too as well. Unbound. I really didn't think they'd grab it just for me, but that does show you how annoying this setup is. And it kind of goes without saying that, uh, yeah, Grip Genos is one of the more, like, CC heavy things that a healer can sort of provide he's going to go for the ult. i'm going to go for mine then try and time it that worked i actually nailed that as a grip on him i don't know if that was really worth for just the turn but there we go i'm trying to mix in some shots i'm playing a little bit more aggressively than maybe i normally will with this sort of setup uh hello andrew there's a grip on him he's got so much cc reduction unbound it really doesn't make sense for me to do that i feel like i'm kind of making this work but a little bit more tense than usual grip there on the victor sure heal there on the andrew we're actually even i feel like score wise here we should be kind of shredding him. grip there which does nothing duel him a little bit uh heal before i die grab there on the term sure we can hold him for a flip in minute that's the general scan for the ult to the mi tried to heal her hello andrew i think i'm dead i'm gonna have to try and run right go ahead and pop an ult a bit of a weird angle we actually hit the ash let's try this one again the entire team is out here grip on the andrew just to maybe throw off that reversal right click on the koga because saying bot team we'll see with the stats in the end i feel like i've done final jones here i don't know if anybody on our side is done particularly bad definitely did my job on jones i can tell you that much might have been a little bit better off if i was on like a full healer setup it's kind of hard to tell that's an andrew ult yeah, we'll just go on. Andre on their side has definitely played the best. I can say that much, really, without much question. <laughs> the team would have got wiped, I think, just the same amount, and maybe we'd have ended up with even more of a skewed stat because we wouldn't have been getting anywhere near as many kills. The grip early game was really, really big. So, I don't know. Jump and go for like an ult. That is not going to hit anybody. Absolute trash. There's a Q on the term. Heal on the Andrew again, maybe. Pushing on the Jones here. There's a grip for him. He's gone. Nice. Right click on the Amani. See, sometimes we make these plays work and it goes really in our favor. Can we grip her out of it or she's still in it? Okay, yeah, that's not high enough. There's a right click on the Koga. Run around, get more arcane warding as if that's really doing that much. Um, another right click on him. Hello, Ash. We'll grip her out of the F. There we go. There are the starts for game one. Defeat. I feel like I did fine on Jones. We actually have a surprisingly decent number for heals there, but damage is a little bit lower than it should have been. I should be using my weapon a little bit better. The CC worked really well they only grabbed unbound for me and i guess the amani route a little bit but we don't have any cc on our side that they would really grab this for so it worked as for the rest of the stats there everybody did a pretty decent job on our side and on theirs the agile was the start of the show for sure alongside the jones who has way more damage than i thought he would have had there because i barely noticed him i thought he was just in the back line healing the whole time but he actually had a binary style like damage setup all right so for game two king of the hill magistrates we've got a vora victor makoa and furia pretty good scenario here for void group generals because their sides betty talus nix pip and Knessa. the healer general setup of course works pretty much everywhere there's no real scenario where this does a bad job it's just these other two can sometimes do a little bit better and obviously a little bit off meta 
but we'll go Kronos and do the same thing and get this going. I feel like I need to focus a little bit more on my weapon though, because that last one didn't do a very good job with it. We've got Relentless, Cherish, Cardio, Plug, then Fire Mega Potion, Share Force, and Reposition. All sort of normal stuff, nothing too crazy. I really shouldn't be running like that. I don't know where to place myself because I can just see everybody here. I will right click them a co. I'm definitely noticing the heal is a little bit less often than I'd like it to be. There goes the Betty. A grip really showing its strength there. That was ridiculous. Grip there on the Nyx as well. She should just be gone, right? That grip duration is insane, by the way. Early game when people don't have Unbound, that's why people grab it, is because early game you make it really annoying if you delay being super annoying with it maybe people will grab the cc reduction a little bit later and it'd actually be stronger but yeah getting that grip early game like that on somebody it just ends up getting them killed assuming you have a team who does a bit of damage to them i should have healed the makoa there that's kind of bad hello betty shots on my accuracy is so scuffed where am i going i don't know heal on the furia i grip there on the betty who for some reason is pushing in grip there on the betty again just kind of in the middle of everybody hopefully the team deals some damage she is still up never mind before i got it cleared i really just wish i was healing for a little bit more here i grip on the yeah tars he can't teleport away assuming he's yeah just in the queue there's not any unbound yet push in here grip on the nyx extra range really is super useful for that victor just kind of shredding away we'll get some damage i'm gonna go for the ult there maybe we'll catch him in it there we go we actually got two not that that's particularly crazy just usually when i'm super locked in trying to make a video i miss my general assaults way more than i usually would we'll throw a grip there for the nyx um get some shots on the betty sure oh my god that Kness is gonna kill me i'm in the middle of way too much here um heal on the because i thought the Kness was already gonna gone or the fury i mean a grip there um what is happening in this fight let's uh, heal i'm somehow not dead yet before uh, alt nix is out i'm gonna try and move how did i live for so long in that fight i was in the middle of like nothing i feel like forever for some reason i forgot what king of the hill i can just buy items whenever uh chronos 2 would have been kind of helpful there we'll throw a heal on the vora the extra range on the right click i don't feel like i really need it here but the q has been super nice as grip on the nix we can just do it through her little wall there's a right click on the victor um i feel like i maybe should save it a little bit more to do it in a more impactful place but the grip is such a low cooldown that it's one i kind of spam it uh, grip there on the nix again i might be dead oh my god that was insane amounts of damage right click there um i'm gone but she should be too grip on the nix self heal kind of keeping me up uh, heal there i'm gonna throw the ultimate maybe catch two of them oh we got one could have maybe got the task if i aim that a little bit further to the left we somehow haven't got the nix out yet there goes the Talus. Nyx is also gone. Q there on the Betty, who hasn't got any unbound yet, so we can just hold it there for ages. Right click on the Furia. I think that's going to be the end of it. Where do I go from here? I guess we try and help him out. There's a grip on the Knesset. Sure. Finish her off, maybe, because for some reason she's just chilling. Heal there for the Makoa. Grip on the Betty. Just kind of holding her there again. We threw another right click. I don't even know who that went on. Shots on the Pip, who is also on their side, who I don't think I've seen once. Um, grip on the Nyx. Heal there. She's ulting. I don't think that F really helps me. <laughs> I'm dead. There's a pretty solid Nyx ult there, right in the middle. 1v1 for Genos is really the thing that he kind of struggles with in scenarios like that. Even with the grip setup. If they've got unbound, it kind of is really hard. And he's got it maxed. The Nyx has got it too. We don't really have any other CC on Azure other than like the Furious Stun and the Vorok so people are again grabbing it pretty much just for me here am i dead I'm gonna try and duel them a little bit self heal might help me a little bit but again just on my own don't know where the team is I feel like if i was a bit better with him and maybe went for like a binary setup i could make like duels work but typically probably not there's a double hit for some reason my assaults today are just on point we've got two of them there right click the fury also i think that's the first time she ulted this game by the way i think victor and makoa and fury have all been saving him way more than they need to there's a grip just to maybe delay his you know couple kills there a little bit some decent damage on him but i think i'm dead here there's a grab again just to delay a little bit heal there he's still pushing me his teleport is over there so i guess the voice got me covered okay Tars tried to all away from that i think grab there on the betty sure heal there as well we're also using the grip just for the cooldown reset sometimes which is kind of nice to get there's a right click on the vora she's chilling talus is out we're gonna pull away here stuck between like three people on their side somehow not dead there's a right click on the makoa i'm just running at this point that's a talus that's a Knesset. we're just gonna try and move i don't know how i took that long to kill me that's a victor i think that might be the first one this game I was actually somewhat decent as a grab on the Nyx. She's going for the ultimate, trying to heal the squishies here. Makoa is usually actually kind of full health, but yeah, Jonas is of course very, very team dependent. If you've not got people to kind of focus, whoever you're trying to grab and you know getting pushed by, it can be kind of tough. We're going to jump on the point, throw some more heals around here, um, grip there on the Nyx. I'm in a really bad spot. I thought the team would just play the point there, but apparently not. We'll go for the ult, hit the Nyx, but Pip is just there. Um, just nearly gone grab there for the reset they're now pushing in there's the f i can't get away i'm dead i feel like we really should have had that fight i don't know how that went so badly there everyone just kind of split up for no reason talus did the vora heal there grab on the nyx again i'm just really scared of the talus anybody else i can kind of deal with i don't really know where to go from here though heal there i'm gonna spam the grab maybe get him a little bit around the corner they're both so low victor nades nyx is gone definitely doing my job on Jones. i've said that a ton of times already in this video but i think i'm doing the best that i realistically can here there goes the victor just getting double tapped heal there on the nyx the whole team's gone not on nyx Savora, and there we go there is the defeat talus ulting for what feels like the hundredth time in that game just like in that last one our damage could have been a little bit better but overall i'm happy with that stat nothing for me to really point out there other than the tiles and the Vora going kind of massive i feel like i did my job a lot of the time on generals you kind of notice that you just annoy them and your team won't pick up on it as much other than the early game with those grips just kind of guarantee free kills but once people get unbound 
you kind of lose effectiveness a little bit. But I definitely recommend running a variant of this setup that is a little bit less aggressive and a little bit more sustain focused, or just grabbing the talent and then going for the full heal setup in that scenario. If you're not expecting your team to really help you out too much, you're going to get pushed and the grip isn't going to get, you know, dealt with too much by your team and they're going to grab Unbound. Then maybe you wouldn't want to grab the build for it because this gets countered way harder than just grabbing the talent alone. Definitely feels kind of like a slider for how much you want to really focus on it. And in this video, we did it pretty much as much as you could. And it worked out well. I have no complaints. Again, journals worked. The setup is really strong. And I'm glad we played it because I haven't picked it up in forever. And yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.